In this part 16 of our One PC Through Them All Challenge series, I'm going to teach you how to create a bootable Linux USB drive from Windows 10. Let's check it out. Hey Nim Techs and welcome, this is Ash from Hilmai Tech and if you want to unleash your true potential, start by subscribing, enable the bell notification icon so that I can help you go from newbie to techie. Now back to our tutorial, so there are plenty of Linux distributions, far more than I can count and that I know about, to choose from if you're considering trying Linux for the first time. Now if you're coming from a Windows environment for the first time and you want to try Linux, some distros are slightly better in terms of user experience. This article which I'll link below gives five distros you could potentially try. There is Zorin OS, Robo Linux, Chalet or Chalet OS, Linux Mint and Solus. Now, in all fairness, I've only ever tried Linux Mint previously, so I'm quite familiar with it. Also, Linux Mint is one of the most like distros in the Linux community because it's quite easy to use. It has an intuitive interface and I kind of feel at home when coming from a Windows environment in this one. But by all means, feel free to try any Linux distribution you wish. Now, Linux Mint has three flavors, Cinnamon, Mate or Mate and XFCE. Now, in comparison with Cinnamon and Mate or Mate, XFCE has a slightly higher learning curve. Still, it's not a major problem. You can get used to it but it's also quite lightweight so if you have a really old laptop or desktop computer and you want to revive it this is a great choice for all the hardware i did a video on this i'm trying to put a link above in the card and in the description below now cinnamon and mate or mate are a bit more easy to use if if you're coming from windows now it says here cinnamon is more modern innovative and full featured desktop whereas mate or mate is more stable and faster desktop either one you go with you should be fine for our situation because we got really decent hardware so cinnamon should be absolutely fine now go ahead to linuxmint.com. For this tutorial, you're going to need a desktop, PC or laptop with a USB port. You're going to need a USB of at least 4 GB or above. You're going to need an application uh, to create the installation drive. And today we're going to be using Rufus, which is a third party application. This is the same one I've used for the Windows 10 installation drive. You can watch the video up there. You're of course going to need a Linux distro of your choice in an ISO file format. And you're going to need a fast internet connection the faster the better now first let's just download the iso file from uh, linux mint you can go to their downloads page and feel free to read their documentation and uh, currently the code name is tina 19.2 so if you scroll down there are the three versions here so 32-bit or 64-bit most modern computers will be okay with 64-bit if you have an older hardware you may want to check and if you're not sure you could just get a 32-bit of any of these and test it out because the difference with a windows installation disk and a linux one is that the with the linux one you can actually test your system directly live without installing anything so which is really handy now go ahead and click on 64-bit uh, for cinnamon or whichever flavor you're choosing and it's going to take you to some uh, links to download. Now there is a torrent version and there's some mirrors version. I have not done torrent link download so I can't really tell you anything about that but I believe if you do choose a torrent link you should be verifying your ISO and there's some further documentation how to do that so make sure you read up on all of this. To be fair though if you're coming from Windows even verifying the integrity of the ISO file looks a bit overwhelming for quite some uh, new first time users so you may want to avoid this however you can very easily just go to one of the mirrors depending on your location since I'm in UK I'm gonna go down to UK and choose uh, let's say University of Kent UK mirror service click on that and depending on your connection speed mine is gonna take about three minutes hopefully so let it download now, while it's being downloaded, let's go ahead to another tab and type in Rufus on your browser. And the first result, you will get rufus.ie. Step over to their website and uh, scroll down and, and download their latest version, which is Rufus 3.6. It's only 1.1 megabyte. Now, once again, there is a lot of other tools you could use to create this installation drive, but I'm using Rufus. Feel free to try other things. I mean, Rufus is free, is uh, easy to use, it's light, it's stable, and it just works. Now, the 
total file size is 1.9 gigabyte but i would not advise you to get a 2 gigabyte usb drive it will be too small because there might be some inflation on there and some of the usb drive may not even show up you should at least get standard ones is 4 gigabyte minimum uh, today i've got a 16 gigabyte the same that we used for the windows installation so the more the better and uh, if you have more space in your drive then you can put other files as well on there now in terms of 3.0 or 2.0 drives unlike windows 10 i believe there isn't any issue with either obviously a 3.0 drive will work faster than a 2.0 drive but they should both work again for older laptops and desktop computers they may not have usb 3.0 ports so you may want to consider a 2.0 drive instead there will be amazon affiliate links in the description below please use them to support the channel okay by now the iso is downloaded and rufus is also downloaded so go ahead and click on here or go to your downloads folder to double click it accept we'll minimize all of that okay you should be familiar with this if you followed my windows 10 installation this tutorial at this stage you may want to plug in your usb stick into a port of your computer okay windows has recognized a drive which is f16 gigabyte now for the boot selection you want to go right and click on select and go to the location of your ISO, which is now downloads folder here, Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon 64 bit. Double click on that. And now that is selected, and most things you should be able to leave as default. So the next thing here is the partition scheme. Again, like with Windows, GPT will be the more modern one. MBR is for the more older ones. If you're installing on a fresh disk on a new computer or a formatted uh, more modern computer, then you should select GPT and it should be fine. However, if it's an older computer, you may want to double check. So how do you do this? Go to your disk management on your Windows Start button, right click on it and uh, click on disk management now if you're doing something like a dual boot on the same disk then you may want to check that and like we did before if i was installing uh, on disk 2 for example which is my windows drive and uh, click on it right click and go to properties and uh, Go to volume and you will see this says mbr master boot record and uh, so that means i should choose master boot record however if i was selecting a different disk like this one and we'll go right click on it properties and go to volume and this one says gpt so for if i was installing on this one it should be gpt but like we mentioned this is a brand new disk we're using for our case so it's fine to go with gpt <laughs> And obviously GPT for the more modern new EFI as well. So everything else can be left default. Now the volume label, name it whatever you want. Remember there's a character limit on Windows. So we can only name it something like maybe MNT for Mint. And I think this one is the Cinnamon. So CIN and 64 bit. And this is version 19.2. I'm going to just put 19 two because i'm not sure the number of characters and you can leave the file system as fat32 default is fine and everything else cluster size default should be fine everything that's ticked here quick format create extended label and check the files for bad logs everything else is fine uh, do remember this will be completely wiped so if you've got any data on this drive you should back up before you do this and go ahead and click on start and it's going to tell you you've got two options say you want iso image mode the recommended one which is fine and yeah it's going to wipe everything off okay let's go for it and just wait all right rufus is done it took uh, three minutes and 34 seconds a lot shorter than windows i think half of the time so go ahead and close this now you may want to go back into your file explorer to check the file and rename it as we normally do so here is click on pc here and here is our drive so what you should do obviously we've labeled it correctly already and i would ask that you go into there and like with windows create a folder which you can recognize uh, we're going to call it linux underscore mint underscore cinnamon underscore 64 and we're going to call it uh, what is it 19.2 i'm going to just say 19 underscore 2 and okay let's call it apps okay name it whatever you want as long as you are able to keep 
track of your USB drive because it can get lost. And don't also forget to uh, attach like a tag or a key fob with your drive as well. And you're done now. I'm sure you guys want to see how we can use this to test our system so let's just eject this and remove your drive from your port so if you're new here this is part 16 of our one pc to them all challenge series this show will give you full responsibility to decide every aspect of this next pc build for 2019 at the end of every video i usually post up a poll on the community tab of youtube so you get to vote for the direction and decision of the next episode so go to the link in the description below if there's a community post link for you to vote in the next poll now before you go make sure you check out the other videos that you can see on your screen including this uh, playlist about troubleshooting a desktop computer where i teach you how to solve almost any problem when it comes to 10 parts of a pc up until you boot into windows once again guys thank you so much for watching this was ash from hill my tech helping you go from a newbie to techie remember to unleash your true potential until next time peace out